Hi all. So today let's speak a little about the latest version of Node.js that is 16.9. So a new feature or a new tool was introduced as part of this release. So that is the core pack. So core pack is a tool which can be used for managing the versions of the different Node package managers. So as you know there are multiple Node package managers like npm, yarn, pnpm etc. So previously for maintaining or managing the multiple versions we needed platform dependent tools like nvm so which is linux based so uh, along with the latest version of node it is providing an out of box feature which can be used for managing the various package managers so now i have installed this latest version of node in my system and as you can see the npm comes bundled along with the node.js so the core pack is a tool that is strictly experimental mode so in order to enable the core pack what you need to do, do is like we need to run the command core pack enable so before that you can check whether like i am trying to run the yarn you can see that it is not installed and also the pnpm also it is not installed now i am going to enable the core pack so this is the command core pack enabled. Now if you go to the Node.js folder, you can see that a lot of new files have been added that, that is related to the pnpm and the yarn. So now if I try to do some command like yarn the version, you can see that actually the yarn has been automatically installed. Now let's try another experimental feature that has been introduced in the latest Node version. So a new key called the package manager has been added to the package JSON. So I am adding it here, package manager. And here you can specify which is the like predefined or preset uh, package manager which you want to use with your project. So here I am specifying it as yarn and I am giving the version as the current version which I have installed in my machine. So now once I specify this package manager in the project, now I am trying to use a different package manager like pnpm and I am trying to do an install in my project. So now you can see that the core pack actually intercepts the pnpm package manager and it will generate an error. The project is configured to use yarn. So this is another feature that is newly introduced in the latest version. But if you try to do npm install, you can actually see that it go it like bypasses the core pack check and installs the packages. So what happens here is that npm is actually already installed along with the node. So to make it like available below the core pack, so what we need to do is we need to enable npm separately so we need to run the command core pack enable npm so now npm will be under core pack and now if you try to run the same thing you can see that the core pack intercepts the npm and it will return the same error that we got for the pnpm so now if we do a yarn install you can see that it will make use of the version which we provided in our uh, package.json and will just install all the dependencies. So now let's explore some of the commands which are available in core pack. So previously we saw that uh, we can do some commands like pnpm install. So the equivalent of this is actually core pack pnpm install. So this will also return the same result whatever it is done in the shorthand method so another option is the core pack prepare so previously you saw that when i did the yarn install automatically the latest version of yarn was downloaded and it installed the packages so in case of servers like where you do not have access to the internet during build time you might need to actually download these files previously. We can keep it in a archive. So let's see that. 
so the command is core pack repair so in case you want to download all the package managers you can provide the option hyphen hyphen all and you can pass the output flag and here I have created a directory which is empty now I am going to provide an RK file name so I am naming it as cache.tgz and when I press enter you can see that it will prepare all the latest versions of all the package managers and a TGS file will be created here which will contain all the package managers installed here so once the TGC file is created we can make use of this the RK file even in offline mode and we can use the command core pack hydrate and you can give the path here so what it does is it will be copying the content from the RK file and keeping it in the core pack cache and one more option is there like activate so that current version which we hydrated that will be set as the global value so in case you want to modify the version of any particular package manager so you can use the command core pack prepare and you can provide the version which you want to use so currently I am giving 6.14.13 for the NPM and you can use the activate flag. So what it does is it will install this and the car that particular version will be set as the global version. So in case you want to disable the core pack feature, you can use the command core pack disable. So once you run the command, you can see that all the PNPM and YARN files have been removed but the npm is still present there so in order to disable npm you need to run it separately core pack disable npm so now what happened is that actual npm global installation has also been removed so you will need to reinstall the node version so that npm is available hope you are able to get a clear understanding about the core pack tool which was introduced in the latest version of node see you soon thank you